Hello, sir. I now know that the number that comes after a given number is called its successor. Do we also have a name for the number that comes before a given number? Oh, yes, Sam. The number that comes before a given number is called its predecessor. Predecessor. Okay, so one comes before two. So one is the predecessor of two? Correct. And nine comes before ten. So nine is the predecessor of ten. And fourteen is the predecessor of fifteen as fourteen comes before fifteen. Right again. Miss R, you had earlier taught me a trick for identifying what comes after a given number. And now I'm very good at it. But I get even more confused when I have to identify the number that comes before a given number. Can you please teach me a trick for that as well? Of course, Sam. Let me explain with the help of an example. Let's take the number 174. To identify its predecessor, we will start from the ones place. We have 4 here, so the ones digit in the predecessor will be the digit that comes before 4, that is 3. And we will leave the tens and hundreds unchanged. So, can you read the predecessor of 174? Yes, I remember that to read three digit numbers, I can divide the number into two parts, hundreds and tens and ones. So, this number is 173. So, the predecessor of 174 is 173. Can I try now? Of course. Here is another number. This number is 598. I will start with the ones digit, which is 8. 7 comes before 8, so the predecessor will have 7 in ones place. And tens and hundreds digits will stay unchanged. So the predecessor of 598 is 597. Absolutely correct. But Miss R, what do we do if one's digit is zero? What comes before zero? Well, Sam... When one's digit is zero, we use a different trick. Let me show you with a number. Let's take the number 450. When one's digit is zero in the given number, the one's digit in the predecessor will become nine. And the tenth digit in the predecessor will also change. The tenth digit in the given number is five. And 4 comes before 5, so 10's digit will become 4 in the predecessor and the 100 stays unchanged. And as you can see, the predecessor of 450 is 449. Oh, I get it. Can I also try? Sure. Here is your number. This number is 110. Since the ones digit in the given number is 0, we will put 9 in the ones place of the predecessor. Then coming to tens place, we have 1 here. So tens digit in the predecessor will be 0 as 0 comes before 1. And 100 stays unchanged. So the predecessor of 110 is... One hundred and nine. Correct. Now, what do you think will happen if both... Now, what do you think will happen if both ones and ten digits are zero? Mm, I don't know. Well, let's see the trick for that. Here is a number with both ones and tens digits zero. It's three hundred. Yes, 
We know that when once digit is zero, we make the once digit of the predecessor nine and change the tens digit as well. Now, since the tens digit is also zero in the predecessor, we will put it as nine. The hundreds digit in the given number is three and two comes before three. So the hundreds digit of the predecessor will become two. Therefore, the predecessor of 300 is 299. Oh, I've understood it. Now, do you want to try? Of course, Miss R. Okay, your given number is 700. Starting from the ones digit, since the ones digit is zero, I will make it nine in the predecessor. I have to change the tens digit, but that is also zero. So tens digit in the predecessor will also become nine. So now I will have to change the hundreds digit. Now hundreds digit is seven and six comes before seven. So the hundreds digit in the predecessor will be six. So the predecessor of 700 is 699. Well done, Sam. Thank you for teaching me, Miss R. You're most welcome. Please like, share and subscribe.